open up your MTT, date it for today's date, you're going to want to do this video on graph paper because we're going to be graphing each line using five points. So the title of this video is Graphing with the Slope. We're going to be working with the equations in slope-intercept form, and that form will be y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept, also known as the point where the line crosses the y-axis. So let's get started. The first thing that we have to do is find our starting point. And our starting point is going to be our y-intercept. So we're going to draw an arrow from negative 1, which is b, and we're going to rewrite that as an ordered pair because that's going to be our starting point. And then we're going to make sure that our slope is in fraction form. So this slope is going to tell us to go up 3 to the right 1. So now what we're going to do is we're going to graph our y-intercept. So we're going to go to 0, negative 1, and that's going to be our first point. Now we're going to use our slope. We're going to go up 3 to the right 1 and get our second point. And we're going to go up 3 to the right 1 and get our third point. Now we're going to go back to our starting point, or our y-intercept, and we're going to do just the opposite. We're going to go down 3 to the left 1, and we're going to go down 3 to the left 1. That gives us five ordered pairs on this line. Taking our ruler, we're going to go ahead and connect those lines, or connect the dots, draw our arrows, and this particular graph has a positive slope. All right, the next one, we need to find our starting point. So we look at our B, and our starting point is going to be 0, 3. We write it as an ordered pair. We find our slope, which is m. We write it as a fraction. And now we're ready to graph. We're going to go to 0, 3. And that's going to be our beginning point. Our slope is going to tell us to go down 2 to the right 1. Down 2 to the right 1. Now we're going to go back to our starting point, And we're going to do exactly the opposite. So we're going to go up 2 to the left 1 up 2 to the left 1. Using the ruler, we're going to connect our points, draw our arrows, and identify this as a negative slope. We need to find our starting point. Our starting point is our y-intercept, so we're going to write it as an ordered pair, 0, 1. Our slope is already in fraction form, so we're set and ready to graph. We're going to go to 0, 1. That's going to be our starting point. We're going to go up 2 to the right 3. And we're going to go up 2 to the right 3. We're going to go back to our starting point. And now we're going to do just the opposite. Down 2 to the left 3. Down 2 to the left 3. We're going to go ahead and connect our points, add the arrows, and label our slope as positive. Now, when looking for our y-intercept with this equation, we'll notice that it's not there. However, we can put plus 0 and not change the value of the equation and still get a starting point. So we're going to go ahead and make our starting point 0, 0, and our slope is already in fraction form. So we're going to start at the origin. We're going to go down 1 to the right 2 down 1 to the right 2. We're going to go back to our starting point and do just the opposite. Go up 1 to the left 2, up 1 to the left 2. We're going to connect our points, add the arrows, and label the slope, which is negative. Now we're going to do y is equal to 3. Now you're going to notice that we don't have a slope but we can rewrite this equation as y is equal to 0x plus 3. Because 0x is 0 times x, which is 0, and 0 plus 3 is 3. So all we've done is rewritten the equation so we can see what the slope is that wasn't showing. And now we're ready to find our starting point. The starting point is going to be 0, 3. 
and our slope is going to be 0 over 1. So we're going to go ahead and go find our starting point. So we're going to go 0, 3. That's our starting point. Our slope says go up 0 to the right 1. Go up 0 to the right 1. We're going to go back to our starting point. Go down 0 to the left 1. Down 0 to the left 1, doing just the opposite. We're going to connect our ordered pairs, add our arrows, and we're going to name our slope. And our slope for this particular line is 0. Now because this equation, x equals negative 2, is missing a y, we need to generate five ordered pairs so we can graph it. Quickest and easiest way to do that is to do a function table. Now we know according to the equation that no matter what, x is going to be negative 2. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the negative 2 five times. Now the quickest way to generate our ordered pairs is to use negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2 in order for us to see to create ordered pairs. So now what we're going to do is we're going to graph it. So negative 2, negative 2, and then negative 2, negative 1, and negative 2, 0, and negative 2, 1, and negative 2, 2. We're going to draw our line, add our arrows, and our slope is undefined. And that's how you graph using your slope-intercept form.